Hello, my name's Adam with O'Reilly Fab, and today we're going to show you how to take off a bolt that would be snapped off and say a head of an engine block or anything. They snap off all the time. Everybody tries to use easy outs to get them out, but they just don't work. They always break off inside of there. So today we're going to show you a different way to do it using a welder, some washers, and some nuts. It's very simple. It doesn't take much to do. All right, sometimes you have like say a 3 8 bolt, 5 8 or maybe even half. What you want to do is figure out what size bolt you're dealing with and take a washer that is just a little bit smaller than the end of your bolt. So when you're welding the washer to your stud or whatever that's broken off, it's just a little bit smaller. Like that right there. Okay? Today we're going to be doing a 5 8 bolt is what we're going to do. Alright, we have the washer centered over the bolt. You want to start at a lower heat so you don't heat up your bolt really hot as you're trying to pull it out. So we're just going to tack that in there and weld it in a little bit. You can use a stick welder to do this. It all, it just takes a little more time. If that's all you have to do out in the field or at somebody's place and all they have is a portable. Now you're going to take your nut, try and get that centered the best you can over the washer and the bolt that's busted off. And weld that in place. It takes a little bit of practice doing this. The first time you're probably not going to get it. But don't stop there. It'll, you'll get better at it. And life will be a lot easier than trying to use them easy outs. Now we're ready to take our bolt out. It's nice and cool. We let it sit for about five minutes and it should spin right out of there. Sometimes you might have to hit it with an impact if it's been in there for a while just to break it free. But today we don't have to. It's coming out just fine. And that's all there is to it.